Hi, welcome to Water Supply Part 3. In today's lesson, or animation, we are going to learn how to use tables 263 to B and C in your code books. Now is a great opportunity to open up your code books to these two tables. These two tables basically size a battery of flush ometer urinals and toilets, which we have on this three-story building. We will also repeat a couple steps from our previous water supply animations on how to size the water service, which is located from the property line to the building shutoff, and how to size the water distribution entry pipe, which is located by the water meter. Following, we will size the individual branches to the battery of flush ometer urinals and flush ometer toilets. And finally, in this animation, we will size three different areas by a urinal flush tank. The distribution pipe to the tank, the water supply pipe to the tank from the R19, and also the water tailpiece coming from the flush tank to a battery of urinals. So let's check it out and see how we do. The following animation will utilize a three-story building which will be used for public use. So open up your code books to tables 263 to B and C as we will now explain the use of these flushometer tables. Our first two steps will be to repeat the first two steps in the previous animations. To size the water service outside of the building and then size the water distribution entry pipe inside of the building. The first step is to find out the pressure in KPA at the public main, which in this case is 425 KPA. Then we are to find out the elevation difference between the public main and the main building shutoff, which is 3 meters. Therefore, we will multiply 3 meters times 10 KPA for a difference of 30 kPa, which means the pressure at the main building shutoff will be 395 kPa. We will also have to find out the developed length from the property line to the main building shutoff, which of course in this case is also 19 meters. With this information, we now know which table to address. It will be the table with the pressure range from 311 to 413 kPa. This is where 395 kPa is. We also know which column to look at. It'll be under the 24 meter column, which is higher than the 19 meters. The third piece of information to find out is how many fixture units are in the building so that we can address the right column. So we will now count individually the fixture units in this three-story public building. We will start at the top with the five flush ometer urinals, and we will also have to address table 2632B, the urinal flush ometer table. If you look at the middle column, which has individual fixture units assigned in decreasing values, this is how we will be able to match the same numbers on the five urinals on the top four. If you total all these numbers, you will get a grand total of 58 fixture units. Now, subsequently, in order to size the three toilets to the left of the urinals, you would have to t turn to table 2632C, the flush armor toilet table, and go to the middle column again and look at the toilet on the left and start at the highest number. And you will see that it will be worth 40 fix units, then 30, then 20. Down below the toilets, coming off the same water distribution branch, is the urinal flush tank. That particular five gallon urinal flush tank is only worth three fixed units. You will have to add that three fixed unit load to the three toilets for a total of 93 fixed units. We arrived at that fixture unit number for the urinal flush tank by looking at table 2632A on the farthest right col column you will see that it is worth a hydraulic load of three fixed units. 
On the left, you look at the minimum supply size is 3 eighths of an inch. That is for the supply tube downstream of the R19. As illustrated, you can see that the supply tube is 3 eighths of an inch, and this water supply is downstream of the R19, feeding the urinal flush tank. We will once again look at table 2632C, the water closet flushometer table, in order to figure out the fixture unit load for the five flushometer toilets on the second floor. They will total 115 fixture units. And once again, we'll repeat the cycle for the first floor toilets, as there are also five, and they are worth 115 fixture units. Once you've added up all the fixture units in the building, you should come up with a grand total of 381 fixture units. Using this piece of information of 381 fixture units, we will now go back to the table, look at the bottom of the column under the number 610, which is higher than 381. Scroll to the left to the first column under the water service pipe, and you will realize that you will have a unusual number of two and a half inches for your water service. We will now proceed to step two, sizing the water distribution entry pipe. We are now going to use a different KPA for this particular number. We know there's 395 KPA at the main building shutoff. However, now we will utilize some pressure loss information. The double check valve and the water meter both experience a 1.5 kPa pressure loss. So we will now take this off the 395 and have a new number of 393.5 kPa at the main building shutoff. We will now have to figure out the elevation difference from the main building shutoff to the top floor, which in this case is 8 meters. So once again, we take the 8 meters and multiply it times 10 kPa, and we will have a new number of 80 kPa, which we will have to subtract from the 393.5 kPa, and we will get a new pressure rating of 313.5 kPa in order to size the water distribution entry pipe. As you can see, the green water distribution pipe located by the water meter will also end up being an unusual number of two and a half inches. Now let's attempt to size some random water distribution branches. We'll start with number one. Working our way backwards, we should count the 20, the 15, and the 10 fixture unit load, which will equal 45 fixture units. Go to table A2631, and under the 24 meter column, as our elevation difference is also 24 meters and you will have to go to the number 83 as it is bigger than 45 and you will see that number one is worth inch and a quarter in size. Now let's check out number two which is feeding the two toilets on the left. Add the 40 and the 30 fixture units for a total of 70 fixture units. Scroll back to table a2631 and under 70 you would have to go at least to the 83 again and your size of number two would also be inch and a quarter. Now let's look at number three. Number three is the water distribution branch feeding the urinal flush tank and we know that it is worth three fix units from the previous table. So go back to table A2631 and Go to the 6 as it is higher than 3 fix units. Scroll to the left and you'll see that your water distribution branch should be half inch for number 3. In order to figure out number 4, it is referring to the flush tank tailpiece, which is the large blue pipe directly under the middle of the urinal flush tank. The only way you can find this answer is in your modules, as it is not in the code book. The answer to this will be inch and a quarter. Once again, number four is inch and a quarter. 